and the prophet made his research and he gave us a summary of his findings and he said women are married for four reasons he did not say marry women for four reasons he gave us what the arabs call fi'il al majhul you know the type of verb that is used in absentia for something tunkahu al mar'atu li arba women are married for four reasons and one of them is li jamaliha for her beauty wa li hasabiha family wa li maliha because of her wealth and he gave us wa li diniha and he told us because of his religion and he advises the prophet advises fadhfar bi dhat al din taribat yada fadhfar bi dhat al din taribat yada hold on to the one that is religiously inclined religiously conscious then you will never be disgraced you will never be found wanting this is a very powerful advice from the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam actually the prophet did not say we should not marry the world they want the prophet did not say we should not marry the one from a good background the prophet did not say we should not marry the one with beauty but he gives precedence to religious consciousness because that will take care of the remaining four that will aid the beauty within the remaining four each of the remaining three rather have or each of them has its own beauty as a potential in it in it but something will bring this potential out and that is religious teachings and inclination and manners my brothers and sisters in islam these are some of the things we shall be discussing and from this hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam scholars have divided the regulations and the principles of choice into two number one, we call it al ma'ayir al ikhtiyar aw ma'ayir al ikhtiyar al ma'ayir al ikhtiyariya or we say ma'ayir al ikhtiyar the yardstick the standards of choice of making choice and it's divided into two number one is mi'yar al-din the standard of religion wa mi'yar al-qabul and the standard of acceptance in the next episode i shall be delving into these two standards but let me quickly give you a summary of what it tastes like so that you be yearning to watch what the, uh, the next episode has to give us number one when you talk about mi'yar al-din you are placing your attention specifically on number one that to deen the one that is religious a muslim be it a muslim or a non-muslim that is within the circle of who the quran says we can marry especially if she maintains her chastity and holds on to our religion but of course we know marrying a muslim is a first choice for the muslim before you can think of any other person this is what we call that to deen the one who possesses who has religious inclination who believes in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala number two under mi'yar al-deen is what we call deenuhu wa khulquhu watching out for a blend of what religion is she inclined to or is he inclined to and the morals that are within him the morals it displaces the morals of talking the morals of interacting with others the morals with himself the moral with his lord the morals with his environment and the likes this is the first yardstick you look at then in the second yardstick which i call mi'yarul qabul that is left for you religion has given you a standard fine adopt it there are some other spaces the religions the religion islam has allowed you to make your own uh, uh, selection based on the values and the teachings you have from the source which is religion and we call that mi'yaru al-qabul the standard of acceptance under the standard of acceptance i shall be discussing like uh, five items but don't go anywhere in the next episode i shall be meeting with you to tell you more about this wa sallallahu ala sayyidina muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in subhana rabbika rabbil izati amma yasifun wa salam ala al-mursalin walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin sallu ala nabi kareem
Just down.